Hello friends, welcome to Tricks. In the last video, we learned about the election process of the President of India. In this video, I will explain pardoning power of the President, different kinds of pardon and a trick to remember all these things. Under Article 72, the President of India has been empowered to grant pardon when a sentence is given for any offence against union law or for any sentence by a court martial, government can grant pardon. But why this executive interference? Why this pardoning power has been granted to the president? For two reasons. First of all, there can be any judicial error. So to correct that judicial error, the president has this power. Second, to give relief from an unduly harsh sentence. This pardoning power is independent of the judiciary. It is not a judicial action, but a executive action. But while exercising this power, the president does not sit as a court of appeal. This pardoning power includes first pardon. In pardon, a convict is completely absolved from both the sentence as well as the conviction. Keep the keyword here complete to make a trick later on. This keyword will help us to remember the meaning of this pardon. In pardon, there is complete absolvation from both conviction and sentence. Next is commutation. Commutation means change. In commutation, the sentence is commuted to a lesser sentence. For example, a rigorous imprisonment of 7 or 10 years can be changed to 5 or 6 years. In this, nature of sentence is changed. Change in nature. Next is remission. Remission means reduction. A sentence can be reduced without changing the nature. So the difference between commutation and remission is in commutation nature of the sentence is also changed but in remission only reduction of sentence takes place but not in the change in nature. For example, rigorous imprisonment will not change into simple imprisonment. Only the period can be reduced. Next is respite. Respite means relief, a period of temporary relief or interval. In respite, due to some special facts, for example, due to disability of the convict or pregnancy of the woman offender, relief can be awarded in form of lesser sentence. So keep the keyword here, special. In this, you can keep the keyword reduce. Next is reprieve. In reprieve, a stay of the execution of sentence for a temporary period is provided. Stay for temporary period. This has been provided to enable the convict to apply for pardon or commutation from the president. Let us have a look on the pardoning power of the governor also. Under article 161, governor has been given the pardoning power. All the powers are similar to that of the president except in two cases. First in death sentence, the governor cannot grant pardon in death sentence even though this sentence has been awarded under the state law. Next, the governor cannot pardon a sentence given by a court martial. So these are the two exceptions. There are certain principles also which are laid down by Supreme Court. First, the petitioner has no right of oral hearing. Since we saw that the president's pardoning power is an executive action, he does not sit as a court of appeal. Therefore, petitioner also does not have the right to have a oral hearing. Next, the president can examine the evidence afresh and take a different view from the court. Third, power to be exercised on the advice of the union cabinet, which means the power of the president is not absolute. He can exercise this power only on the advice of the union cabinet. Fourth, the president is not bound to give reasons why he has given a pardon or why he has not given a pardon. He is not bound to give reasons. Fifth, he can give relief for both harsh sentence, unduly harsh sentence or if he considers that the judiciary has made an evident mistake. Sixth, no specific guidelines by Supreme Court for the exercise of power by the President. The Supreme Court has not laid down any specific guidelines. Seventh, this exercise of the pardoning power of the President is not subject to judicial review, which means he cannot be taken to the court of law for any of his decision regarding the exercise of his pardoning power except when the decision is arbitrary, irrational, malafide or discriminatory which means that the court has kept open a small window for judicial review. Lastly, 
If earlier petition has been rejected, then stay cannot be obtained by filing another petition. So these were the principles laid down by Supreme Court. Now let us have a trick to remember the kinds of pardon. For pardon, we took the keyword complete. For commutation, it was change. For remission, we used reduce. For respite, special. And for reprieve, we took the keyword stay. In exams of multiple choice questions, you can get number of definitions and you will have to choose the kinds of pardon precedent awards. So it is important to remember not only the kinds but also the meaning of these pardons. So I have made a trick mixing the meaning and the kinds of pardon. So the sentence is complete change in nature reduced sprite to special state. For complete understand it is for pardon a convict is completely absolved from the sentence and the conviction change in nature commutation there is change in nature of the sentence remission reduce you can remember reduce because remission means reduce simply the sentence is reduced no change in nature for respite I have jumbled the word and made the word sprite you can relate it to that and I have written the word special also for you to remember that respite means reduction due to some special facts sprite to special state and from state you can remember the word stay state stay so just remember that something has happened and there is complete change in nature which reduce the cold drink sprite to a special state hope you like this trick and understood the meaning i will be making similar videos and the next video will be on the impeachment process of the president thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe the channel and give a thumbs up thank you